So, Mercury is currently in retrograde. But did y'all know that it was five other planets in retrograde? So, not only Mercury, the planet that rules technology and communication, but also five other six planets in total are in retrograde. Then on top of that, we got the full moon and crybaby ass Pisces. So if your dreams is going crazy, you feeling crazy, you crying every other second, it's just normal for right now. Shit is topsy-turvy all across the board. But let's get into these retrogrades. So first up on the list, we got Jupiter. Jupiter is in retrograde until November 24th, and that is the planet that rules luck and fortune. So stay your ass out the casino and off FanDuel, at least until November 24th. Next, we got Saturn in retrograde, which is the planet that rules hard work and responsibility. Take it easy. That's in retrograde until October 23rd. Don't stress yourself out. I ain't say don't pay your bills, but don't worry about nothing. Best advice for Saturn. Then we got Uranus in retrograde, which rules innovation and intelligence, and that's until next year, January 23rd. But Uranus retrograde has more so positive elements than anything else. It brings forth necessary change. I mean, they all have positive elements, but Uranus is going to bring forth positive change. So you don't got to worry too much. Neptune is in retrograde, and it's going to be in retrograde until December the 4th. That rules dreams and psychic abilities. Neptune in retrograde also has this positive element because it's going to really open us up and make us more spiritually attuned. For those of us who have a problem with receiving, it's going to make us more receptive. It's also going to invite us to take the limit off God. So take full advantage of Neptune's retrograde. Last but not least, we have Pluto in retrograde until October the 9th. Now, Pluto's retrograde is going to be very difficult for those of us who have control issues. Pluto's retrograde is going to challenge us to go with the flow. Pluto is a planet that rules rebirth and transformation. It usually affects like the world around us, but when it's in retrograde, it affects us personally. Pluto is going to bring forth some very potent transformative energy. It's in all of our best interest to just go with the flow. It's really in all of our best interest to just go with the flow with all these retrogrades because we don't have control what you can and leave the rest. During this time, you definitely need to make sure you're doing your work, your breath work, your meditation, starting the day with prayer, your affirmations, full nine, because you're going to need it. That's all I really got for y'all today. I hope that was helpful. Take it easy. Drink your water. Do your breath work. Do what you got to do. But get the work done. I love you and I will see you soon.